If you're out early this morning, it really wasn't too bad. It was a day where the heat and humidity really built throughout the day, but it was noticeable once we got to this afternoon. The weather's been quiet today as well. We're not finding that off to the west or the north, though, where we're finding pockets of strong to severe storms. We've got a tornado watch here in southeast Iowa and in northern Missouri. Severe thunderstorm watch is stretching back along I-35. And along that line, we do have some severe warned thunderstorms, especially here in eastern Iowa. And it's the activity that we're finding here that will be probably most problematic going into the evening hours. I think the emphasis for any severe weather there, though, will head into western Illinois later tonight. But these storms will generate a boundary that will drop south and that may help to trigger additional showers and thunderstorms further south late tonight through sunrise on Wednesday. And that boundary I think will linger into Wednesday afternoon and as things heat up and with plenty of humidity in play, there's going to be a lot of instability and we're going to find additional thunderstorms breaking out by probably mid to late afternoon on Wednesday and some of those thunderstorms could become severe. There is a slight risk for severe weather across southern Missouri for the afternoon and evening time frame on Wednesday. And then on Thursday, the 4th of July, the setup remains generally the same. So additional thunderstorms are likely, uh, especially late Thursday afternoon into the uh, overnight hours Thursday night. Uh, a slight risk for severe weather will accompany those thunderstorms, especially here across southern Missouri. Uh, it looks like out of uh, both waves of thunderstorm activity, the main mode is going to be for some damaging wind gusts, maybe upwards of 60 to 70 miles per hour. I think the tornado threat, while it's not zero, I'm not expecting tornadoes. Uh, as far as hail, this isn't a setup that's real favorable for large hail, but we could find a lot of small hail with the strongest thunderstorms. Uh, also, there could be some localized areas of flooding because this is a, a setup where the atmosphere is really juiced up. Lots of moisture in the atmosphere, so these thunderstorms are going to be able to produce very heavy rainfall. And if you get a few spots where the storms keep hitting the same location, those are going to be the areas that are going to be susceptible to some flooding. Uh, this evening looks quiet. Uh, after midnight tonight, though, that boundary will be dropping south, and on, along and north of that boundary, there will be a risk for scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms. This is 7 o'clock Wednesday morning. I think a risk for a few showers will continue throughout the morning hours here north of Highway 60. That's where it's going to stay cloudier. Meanwhile, areas to the south, it's going to be sunnier. Temperatures are going to be getting hot as we get into the afternoon, and thunderstorms should break out here across northern Missouri and uh, northern uh, Arkansas and southern Missouri. And then that activity as we work through the evening hours gets replaced by additional thunderstorms, which will break out and impact areas north of Highway 60 later Wednesday night. For the 4th of July, if you've got some outdoor plans, I think the bulk of the day looks quiet. But by late afternoon, heading into the evening hours, I expect another wave of scattered strong to severe storms to work west to east across the region. Temperatures tonight remaining warm, 75 for the overnight low. High tomorrow ranging from the 80s north to mid 90s south, about 91 here in Springfield. There is a heat advisory in effect for areas closer to the state line. In fact, there is an excessive heat warning in effect for the Mount Home and Melbourne area where heat indices could approach 110 degrees. Highs on the 4th of July in the low to mid 90s across the area and for the evening hours again. Fireworks displays, any outdoor plans you might have could be impacted, will likely be impacted by thunderstorm activity. The good news is uh, the trough in the middle of the country that's helping to generate the thunderstorms over the next couple of days will also lead to a mild and quiet July pattern for Friday through Saturday. Temperatures are going to start creeping higher on Sunday, but it looks like only about 89 for the high. And I think we're going to keep thunderstorm chances away for Friday, Saturday and Sunday, returning maybe Sunday night into Monday morning. Hmm. Only about 89. Uh, yeah. well, that's what you say when you well, have um, days like today. <laughs> today, yeah. 95 was today's high okay. in Springfield. Yeah. We had a heat index up around 105 this afternoon. Ooh. Yeah. Still a lot of 80s in there. I mean, almost 90, but just below that, hey, we can take that. So. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Jamie.